Okay, so I just finished watching the Netflix film Rattlesnake. Uh, it's an hour and 25 minutes long, and it's better than I expected, to be fair. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, and check out my Twitch stream down below uh, in the description box. There's a link that you'll find. Okay, so Rattlesnake, you know, it just popped up on Netflix. I thought I'd check it out. The premise is um, this mother and daughter are traveling uh, across, like, the American, you know, where it's just like desert and just just giant roads forever kind of thing. That that, that kind of area where it's like no man's land, uh, which I've always found to be horrible anyway, because it's like, you know, anything could happen. But um, so she gets like a puncher. Uh, the door's like playing about in the, 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 the little area as uh, the mother's repairing it. She gets a snake bite and, you know, the daughter's like obviously in turbo state and then... Basically, this mysterious caravan appears from nowhere. This mysterious woman appears, heals the daughter, and then she obviously goes with the, the daughter. The mother goes off with the daughter to hospital to obviously get it all double checked and stuff. So basically, it, it's a weird film because all of a sudden she's given this time limit by this random dude who says you've got till sundown to um, basically kill someone, give a soul for saving her daughter's soul. If she doesn't uh, kill someone uh, and, and take their soul, and basically the daughter gets the snake bite back and the daughter will die. So that's that's basically the premise of the film. She has seven hours till sundown to kill somebody, all right? Or her daughter dies. So it's you think, oh, that'll be easy. That'll be fine. Uh, I can kill someone, no problem. But obviously, it's not just killing the person. It's killing the person and getting away with it uh, and make sure no one finds out is the big the big drama. Uh, so the the film's done quite well because you're you're constantly thinking, is this the person she's gonna kill? Is this the person she's gonna kill? You know, she keeps like getting opportunities but she's she she hesitates and second guesses and she's not very she's all over the spot emotionally with it. You know, so it's quite a good guessing game, you know. Uh, and there is a few twists and that we think, yeah, she, she, this is definitely it. This is this is an easy kill. You can definitely have this one. And which keeps coming to problems and issues uh, and that. And, you know, just trying to kill one person, you, you think it would be an easy job. Uh, but it's it becomes a right, like, mental game for her because, you know, she's not just trying to find someone to kill. She wants the person to think they deserve to be killed as well sort of thing so she's not ridden with guilt and feels like a horrible person um so you know it makes it you know, yeah she doesn't want to find someone nice and just go fucking yeah stab kill uh so she's trying to like she goes through she's got a very short time of it uh and it's like first it takes her a few hours to realize this is actually real she's doing a bit of research and finds out that this isn't a comment like this isn't the first time this has happened, you know, there's been multiple people arrested, shouting, soul for a soul, the person, they, they just stab someone in the chest and they're arrested and they're apparently just screaming, soul for a soul. Uh, and the, the, the weird woman was like, seen in the background that, you know, healed a daughter. And so like, so she's actually like, oh shit, this is real. My daughter will die in as uh, soon as sundown hits. So she's, so now she's like trying to like, go through all the process like how can I kill someone what am I going to use you know yeah it's just like a lot of like emotional shit going on so it's it's pretty it's a pretty cool concept of like you know you know it's, but the value of human life is not equal uh, at all because a daughter's far more priority to her than some random nobody and now it's like also she don't want to get caught she don't want to be ridden with guilt so it makes it more complex uh, and like I say, there is a few twists uh, and where you think, fucking hell, yeah, you're, gift you're definitely going to do this. This is, I see what's happening here. Uh, and then, you know, something else will happen to delay it. And you're like, fucking hell, come on, stop being hesitant. Just just get it done, sort of thing. So it is, it is a cool film. Uh, it's just one of those where you just sit and wait and you're waiting, you're waiting, you're like, come on, come on. If I was in your shoes, you know, I would have done this, I would have done that, sort of thing. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it, you know, it's it's like, it's I think it's a satisfying uh, film, it's not nothing amazing, but it's certainly a cool concept of like, you know, if you're in that situation, what would you do to also not be guilt-ridden 
and not be caught as well as having it all like dandy and dory sort of thing. But yeah, so let me know if you've seen this film, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.